Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and thank you again for joining me for another Clay Motivational. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Tasha. In today's video, it is a part one. I'm going to take you to clean my master bedroom, my master bath, my living room, and then we're going to start the process of the deep clean of my couch. I have a very large sectional and it's bunch of different pieces it has recliners it is such a hassle to clean especially by myself and this the day before I started recording this video we had found some sugar ants um, accumulating behind our couch and found out that my daughter has been dropping snacks behind there as well as when we started cleaning found so much food inside the couch and underneath of it so if you're looking for a really good mess and a good transformation this is the video for you these couches were horrific and we are gonna deep clean part one of this and this video is just going to be the vacuuming and the cleaning up of the couches. Next week's video, I will show you how I steam cleaned and show you the mess that came from that. It was pretty disgusting. I'd say I'm embarrassed, but I'm not. We live here, my kids snacks, we snack, and messes happen. So if you're in for some good clean motivation, stick around to the end and see the cleaned result of what this mess can be turned into. And if you would do me a favor and give it a big thumbs up, I would appreciate it. Also remember you can hit that subscribe button and stick around because I'd love to see you stick around. And remember always, comments are welcomed. I love to answer back. Let's jump into this mess. So for our anniversary back in March, it was our fruit anniversary and my husband knows that I have an obsession with lemons. So he went out and bought me a duvet and a duvet cover. I think I'm saying that right. I've never owned one and it's kind of exciting to have one for me. So I'm really excited that here soon, I'm gonna try and see if my duvet will fit into my washer and give it a wash before I start it. And hopefully my bed next time will be lemons. I'm so excited about it and just ready for the change. The red is okay, but I've been kind of over this setup for a while now. I also wanna try and paint my desk once the whole phases have gone through all the phases we need to go through and we can be out in public and I feel safe in public again. I wanna try and repaint my desk and make it like that creamy color to match the window headboard that I created. I'm waiting around for something real 
My cat's favorite place to hang out is in the rocking chair that I use as a desk chair. She sleeps in there almost all day and then she also likes to climb up on this desk to get into the window. So this area is always covered in cat fur. I have to dust it off all the time because I can't stand working in this space if I can see a bunch of fur. So a couple times a week I'll just come in here and wipe it off and still that much cat fur flies in the air. I didn't really realize how much it was until watching it back and seeing like all the fur just going everywhere on camera. With all the fur that accumulates in my room from both my pets sleeping in there, I decided to go ahead and give it a double vacuum up here just to make sure I was getting as much fur as I could. Plus when I dumped the vacuum, it was really full, so I knew that there had to have been some more left over. When I dumped this canister, it only had a little bit in it, so I'm glad I went with a second swipe. My husband owns one of those electric shavers and when we bought our new one, um, it came with one of those oil things. Our last one, the oil had spilt all inside the bin just like this one is doing. So I threw it away and this one is a new container so I was hoping that it wouldn't leak but it did. Like It had somehow got knocked over in this bin and had been leaking out. So I wanna go ahead and make sure I got that cleaned up. And while I was in here, I just had to go ahead and combine these two hair oils. I had a brand new one and the one that was almost gone. So I just combined them, cleaned out the bin and I'm going to show you the little tube because it makes no sense to me how this thing leaks so much when there's barely any oil in it. It looks like a secure tube but this thing leaks like crazy.
Ever since Clorox wipes and Lysol wipes have become very hard to find, I decided from here on out I'm going to try to use my method anti-back bathroom on the counters and the cabinets. I really do hate using this product. I, I have two of them on hand. I've had them for a very long time, but they honestly make me cough. I don't like the way it, it just feels like it like attacks my lungs. I don't like using this product, but I will say it is a great product. It does work really well. It cleans fantastic, but honestly, the smell, I wish they come up with a different smell for this exact um, line just because it's, it's so, I don't know how to put it. I guess I would say this, the scent is very harsh. I don't ever show a close-up of my toilet, but I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys because I plan to use a cloth on this and I never do that. But I have been shedding a lot lately since the season's been changing. I've noticed I'm shedding more and when I brush my hair at the counter, it gets all over the toilet. So I thought I'd go ahead and give you guys a close-up just so you guys see why I'm using a cloth first before using the, the Clorox wipes.
Something I have discovered since moving here is that I have a sensitivity to the water here. I, you probably saw me scratching my arms and all stuff. The water got down on my arms and when I sit in our water too long or even just for a little bit, not when I do dishes or anything, just when I shower or anything, I break out in hives. And it's very itchy and very uncomfortable. I just recently purchased a water filter system for my shower. So I'm really hoping that that will help. If not, I started a whole bunch of other routines as well, like adding vitamin D to my regimen of vitamins and everything else I could think of to help with the hives. And if those don't work, I'm probably going to have to see a specialist. Replace you. Just say what 
Say what you mean, don't waste your time being mad at me Say what, say what you mean, say what you mean And you'll get, get what you need, get what you need What I do, what I do is try to give you more than words What I say, when I say I quit, it's only cause it hurts We got play, we got places we can go to figure out What we've done, what we need to do yeah i got you i got you i got you the way you look at me is absolutely i know someone's probably gonna ask and no my daughter is not unattended behind me on the stairs my husband and my daughter decided to lay on that bottom tier so they're just laying there while i am cleaning the stairs say what say what you mean say what you mean and you'll get Get what you need, get what you need What I do, what I do is try to give you more than words What I say, when I say I quit it's only cause it hurts We got play, we got places we can go to figure out What we've done, what we need to do Yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you Since we had planned to go ahead and deep clean the couches today, we decided to move everything over to the play area and get the couches ready to be separated. It's a lot of work to separate these from the locks that connect them, so I wanted to go ahead and move everything to the playroom area and then go ahead and vacuum the main section that is not covered by any furniture. And then while I was cleaning the play area, my husband's going to go ahead and detach all the couch pieces so that I can clean them individually. Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest, I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. Let me be real here. When I see you, my heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me. But this time, this time.
I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide A lot of people ask me about the large lint roller that I use upstairs in my bedroom. I picked up one from the BX and it is the Spotty brand, the pet hair remover. It's a large lint roller. You can purchase it with the handle and then after that you just you just purchase the replacements that go in it. And the replacement rolls actually have like three times more of the lint strips than the actual roller purchase itself. This one my daughter actually broke the same day I opened it so the handle didn't last as long as I thought it would but the one I've had upstairs I've had for like five years now. Burned. Look at 
us now We scream, we fight, and no one knows the reason We're both getting out of line mm -hmm. Now say goodbye and try to move on I'll get over you, only wish that I knew how to go on As I started this piece, my daughter woke up from her nap, so my husband went upstairs to get her, and then we're gonna try and finish this as quickly as we, we can. The reason why we didn't steam clean was because she woke up a little early from her nap. It took us about an hour and a half to take everything apart, clean this room, and also deep clean these couches with just using like a vacuum and this lint roller. So the next day I woke up and during nap time, I went ahead and steam cleaned these couches, which you'll see next week. Talk 
in the club, in the streets, waking up. Yeah, always when we meet, something's still missing. We're still faking it. We pretend that we're good, yeah. Cause to me, when I love, when I feel, I don't want nobody to tell me to slow down. Yeah, we're still faking it. We pretend that we're good, yeah. Cause you know I'm feeling something's missing. No, it's not what I had wished for. Let's stop praying for love, yeah. Yeah, I want your heart, I want your heart. Gotta move, gotta dare to speak the truth Cause something's not working Yeah, I'm done faking it And pretending we're good, yeah Cause you know I'm feeling something's missing No, it's not what I had wished for Let's stop praying for love y'all we made it to the end of the video i hope this gave you tons of motivation i was really excited to get my couches cleaned as well as my bedroom my bathroom and just getting the living room back to a living space because i felt like it was cluttered with toys at the moment and the couches just felt really disgusting once we found the ants so i'm really glad i got that cleaned up and i hope that next week you guys tune in for the steam cleaning of it because that is kind of gross worse than it was I feel like with the food so please tune in for that and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't yet I'd love to see you guys stick around and I will see you guys next Wednesday thank you guys so much for watching